Hey, hey, it's Tucson Jams. Welcome, welcome. This is my son, Daniel. What's going on? Tall and handsome, he's a good, he's a good drummer too. He's got some stuff. You'll be seeing him later on in one of the shows, so give a look. We're uh, gonna be driving around town, talking and doing whatever happens. So Where are you going? come follow along. We're going Where are you to going? we're going to. Alright, well we're gonna go to the hut. Let's go check it out. <laughs> Is this your is this your new vehicle, huh? I remember the oh, last one. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Quite yeah, the whoopee yeah. there, huh? What, yeah, what, what do we got out here? Wait, is this thing safe? I don't know. I gotta travel in the car. <laughs> hey, it's a musician it. car, man. What can I say? This one was now 550. <laughs> um, um, it, it, it runs real good, man. You can trust it. It's, you got it's a cool. seat belt, is my Yeah, yeah, you got a seat belt. All right, let's yeah. go. Yeah, all right. Hit it. Nice, really. It's really you've come up in the world. I see with the show, it must have really brought you up in the world. Yeah, yeah. Actually. Now that you're like a star, is that yeah, what it is? Yeah, actually, now I can this afford This is sweet. A, now this I can, is, the I dash is afford, mostly even there still. I can actually all. afford a seven hundred dollar car now. Yeah. We're taking off to the hut. We're gonna go down and do a little filming around down yonder, and uh, we're gonna check out the uh, tiki god that's just uh, on its side at the moment. They haven't got it all set up, but uh... Oh, you're talking, now wait a minute folks, he's talking about the famous the Tiki God from the golf and stuff, is yeah, that, yeah, that correct? Yeah. I got the name We're, right. I, I live two. myself, I live right next to golf and stuff most of my life, and they had the, uh, the Tiki God yeah. at the, at the, it's a miniature golf park, right? Yeah. Uh, they're tearing down the miniature golf park, yeah, and it's... people don't want to see it go. Keep that Tucson history alive. So, so, so what's happening is they're they're uh, they're tearing the thing down. They're putting it up at the hut. That's kind of cool. Preserving Tucson history. Yes, yeah, right. Preserving Tucson. I got history. a I got a good dirty story for you. Okay, what's that? <laughs> well, you see, this tiki god is so huge. It's a couple of three stories high. Okay. And you could walk around in there, you know, and had spiral staircase and all that kind of stuff. It was quite okay. the it was quite the amusement little thing, you know. And uh, uh, a lot of the kids in Tucson that are adults now, of course, grew up here and played in that thing many, many years ago. Right. In fact, old Brian Dean says that he got his first titty in there. <laughs> what? No, wait a minute. Does his wife know this first of all? I'd like to know him. What are you talking about? Well, I'm sure she does. I'm sure she doesn't mind at all. Yeah. He, was, he was only six, seven years old anyway, so, okay. like, you know. Well, Start young. Okay. Yeah. Right. And you know them guitar players. He was destined to do that anyway, wasn't he? You know, yeah. But uh, but no, there's a lot of good history there, and I remember uh, various people telling me that uh, they had played around in there when they were little kids because it was built in '70, and uh, so there's a lot of folks that remember it and would be touched by the fact that they can go downtown on Fourth Avenue and see it you know yeah and now they come to that now they can go to tucson jams the hut you know yep, and they can see this thing huh and it's going to be it's going to be standing right there as the entrance to the hut i believe is the way they're going to design it now that's and it'll cool. be a beautiful thing yeah that it'll be, is cool yeah it'll be the coolest attraction on fourth avenue it'll be now, great now the hut's always kind of stood for that kind of thing i mean yeah. you know they got the they got the grass and uh and all the all the stuff we you know call you ever been to the hut not so far yeah, well, you're not old enough. Stay together. <laughs> Are you a musician still? Because we haven't heard from you. I oh, thought yes, maybe yes. you just dropped off the face of the earth. Yeah, I had the woodshed. I was kind of slack, slacking. So uh, I've just been drumming and playing my guitar. Okay. Uh, I hope I'm up to par now. We're going to see you play at all? Or, you know, yeah, or, very soon. You know? Yeah, well, I'll be coming down to the hut oh. probably next Wednesday. Maybe even within the next like few minutes or seconds, yes. it'll just boom, yes. magically appear. Okay. Wow. Yeah, there you go. Now there's the magic of tell devil a little bit of vision. Yeah, he's done this before, folks. Right. Teleportation. Teleportation. Uh, television. I think is what he's referring to. Okay. You know what I television. Mean? Then they made you get a digital converter. Have you got one of those yet, Deacon? Is your, dad, is your dad, is he up to par with the times, is he? No, guys never owned a cell phone, never owned a computer, oh, and you know so what, that's fun. Never uh, owned a, a never cell phone. Never owned a cell phone. I, can, I you be, can you be further off the grid? Dino, yeah. Dinosaur Deacon. Dino, Dino Deacon. 
A dino deacon. <laughs> dino deacon. But has he got a pager or something? No, he doesn't even have that. He wouldn't, have, he, he wouldn't know how to work that. I got a telephone number, man. I got a telephone number. I can be reached. Okay, it's a message. But it's a landline. Yeah. Well. Something's weird about it, because I can call it, folks, and he can call you back, but he can't ever answer the phone at it. Exactly. So I don't know what's going on with it. I, I, I just can't hear telephone ring it's frequency. Messy. So where are we going? What are we doing? We're going down to the hut. To see the TV. We're going down to the hut and ask for a raise. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we demand a raise. What do you think about that? Even? I would think about all you're going to get is a rise. Yeah, that, that would be yeah. about Yeah, rise, that. raise, you know, that's all good. Well, I mean, all the shit going on in the world, you know, they need music, don't they? Oh, yes, boy. They and is this thing happening or what at the high? We are the warriors. We are the warriors. They need yeah, us. You've the never been there, but, I mean, it's you've popping. seen the show, right? Uh, oh, yes. I mean, there's, there's, it's happening. Uh, oh, big time. Yeah. Big time. Yeah, the hut's popping. A lot of folk coming down. It's, it's the right place. So yes, we're sir. on, where are we at right now? Where are we at? Oh, God! Oh, Dang, there ain't no room in this car. You need a bigger car. <laughs> I don't know if you folks can see this. Where's here. the hood? We're on 5th. Fifth and Country okay, Club. Okay, 5th and Country Club. A famous corner in Tucson, yes. Basically. There's been many very strange things that happen right here. Kind of like this, too. <laughs> this is probably illegal, the way we're driving. I would say Here probably so. Uh, yeah, yeah. This is by the angle of my neck right now. Hide the dope. We'll I'm probably get stopped by a cop. Yeah. <laughs> well, you don't have, like, nothing in your car. Oh, not me, no. I don't do that. Holy shit. I don't do that. Holy shit, you I, don't do that. I, thought, I just remembered something. I don't do that. You're supposed to ask this what before you get in someone's car. As we all know, dope will get you through times of no money much better than money will get you through times of no dope. Does not necessarily reflect the views of the station and or Tucson Cans. Uh, basically, uh, yeah. <laughs> well, that's a, that's the fabulous Fairy Freak Brothers. I can't claim that one. This particular car is actually in not not too bad a shape. <laughs> Didn't you go it's got all windows. The, the last mope beater you had was, oh, I mean, well, this one does have all the windows, I yes. get you that. No, the last no. few vehicles I saw, you didn't have no passenger window, did you? I seen uh, him in the it, winter, it, he's got it taped up. It does happen, it, it does happen. He's a musician, he's driving around one of them cars. Yep, <laughs> I got myself a tape. He probably got your old damn car, you know? <laughs> what happened to your last car? Oh. Uh, no, no, Jenny, uh, 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 no, actually, I'm operating illegally. Me too. I'm gonna keep that. But hey, hey, listen, listen. We gotta, we gotta talk about this boy here. This is, though it's a little hard to see. This is the Tiki God. God, it almost don't look like it. It's the place of Dean's first tit. It almost don't look like it. What do they got it? They got it boxed up there, don't they? Huh? They got some dirt people like us. That's a snows right there. Looks like they even redid it right before they started the project. So you've been on this thing. Yeah, you, oh yeah, you, yeah. Hang on a minute now. Oh, I see. This is the hut. I, I remember. This is where the Tucson Jams is. Affirmative. Uh, this bees the hut. That's and why uh, everybody I'm not knows exactly it. sure what's going on, but I think they're going to put it up on the beautiful. Wow. Yep. Yeah, it's right behind here. Now the beauty of this is it's a real piece of Tucson history with all the folks that have played there when they were kids and so forth. There is a fellow that comes in here that was actually one of the people who, who did the construction. He said they made it out of paper mache in 1970. Uh, said they made it out of paper mache and let that dry for a couple of three days. Then they covered it with uh, uh, concrete, uh, kind of like a, I'm uh, not some sort of concrete kind of thing. And then let that dry, and then they, then they fixed it up just perfect and opened up the park. 
That was one of the last things they did. But uh, there's a fellow that comes in here that was actually one of the people that worked on the thing. Beautiful. Cool. When was this? Just a couple of weeks ago, I, I spoke to him. Yeah. 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 When Dean told me that little story. Cool. <laughs> but yeah, they're going to be putting it up over here as an entrance, I think. They're going to lay a platform and make it the entrance to the house. I, I think that's what it is. You're supposed to walk right through its mouth, isn't it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's where it goes. <laughs> now let's go inside. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, it is. This is the uh, hut in the afternoon. Yeah, naked dancing horses at four. Yes, it's a, it's a beautiful thing. Come on down. <laughs> oh, yes. Hey, 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 hey. I told you I was gonna, I told you I was gonna come in and paint you, didn't I? Yeah. <laughs> Kate, right? Yes. Yes, it's our lovely bar, one of our lovely bartenders, Kate. She's down here on a, almost every night that we are. Yeah, she's down here, she's one of us. Come on down and support live music at Tucson Jams and say hi to this lady. Never been in here before. Never, this is the first time. Breaking the high. Pretty good. I'm, I'm forced to run the board. Budget cuts. They've got a real good board. It's a pretty complex little mofo, but they got a real good board. And uh, speakers and all, everything works great. It's right in the pocket. And you've got this sort of concert feeling, you know, because of the way they set it up. It's, uh, it's not like most of these bars. Most of the bars and clubs around town, music is the afterthought. This place has actually been set up for music. What a concept. <laughs> That's a one of the best venues in Tucson. It works beautiful. Real nice big PA, just like you was playing a concert. Just like you was a big rock and roll star. <laughs> Tucson Jam! Yeah. Yeah. Come down to the hot night. We're at the jams, how come you're not here? <laughs>
going on? You should get down here. Join us for a tropical drink, maybe two. Listen to some tunes, you know? Have a good time on a Wednesday night.
told me this story. Dog, they couldn't see me well. One day he's going over the railroad track. Chain cut off a bit of his tail. He turned around but didn't look up. Stay tuned, don't go away. We got plenty more for you to come. Oh, my daughter, Andre Bunnell, looks and sings just like her mammy does. Mr. Scott LaVey over here. He's You're watching Tucson Jams. I'm in Don Quixote in her bar the other night. Yeah, he looked a little pale. Said it was all right. He looked all smell, but she left him all the same. For a long black limon, a powder I cocaine. Oh, 
Happy to be down here on 4th Avenue though, that's a good thing. Tucson Jams is working real good. Come on down and be part of it. This guy right here needs to be rich and famous. <laughs> we'll see y'all later.